Hello, Kim here from Craft Buggy. Today I'm gonna to show you what I like to do with my leftover resin when I'm working on a project. Um, I like to make these resin bookmarks. So I love making these because they're a lot of fun. They're really easy to personalize. You can use decals, different colors of mica, different colors of ribbon, different kinds of glitter, and it's just a lot of fun. You can make them in so many different variations. For this video, I'm gonna specifically show you how to make this particular bookmark and bookmarks very similar to it. Anyway, let's get started and let's make some bookmarks! For this project, you're gonna want a clear cast resin. I got this one on Amazon, but you can also get them at Hobby Lobby. You're gonna need cups for mixing your side A and side B, popsicle sticks, gloves. You're gonna want these um, silicone bookmark molds. I got these on Amazon and then an assortment of glitter and these powdered micas. <clears throat> I'm gonna do blue, blue bookmarks today um, and I got those micas on Amazon as well. And then if you wanna personalize it, you can always make a decal on your silhouette or your Cricut machine, or you can also purchase them online. But the decal's not till the second step. So let's go ahead and get started. For this first step, you're gonna wanna mix equal sides, side A and side B. I mixed 15 milliliters of each side and then I put them into two separate cups. And then what you want to do here is you want to marry the two and mix them for three minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and add everything all in one cup. I'm going to go ahead and stir this for three minutes. I have already mixed side A and side B together in one cup for three minutes and then after that was mixed I divided it into two separate cups that way I can mix my different color of micas. So I'm going to start. You always want to add a really small amount. You can always add more but you can't take away. I'm going to add another color to this one. So I have the consistency and the color that I like with both of these, so we're just going to move the camera a little bit closer so you can see how they're poured into the molds. So for this part, there's really no rules. You can just kind of pour it as you'd like and mix it as you like. So I'm going to start with this dark blue. Mix it right next to it. And then you can add glitter. You can add as much or as little, if any. If you feel like you got too much in one area, you can use your little stir stick to move it around. All right, whenever you're happy with the amount of glitter that you have and you are just waiting for the next step for the decal, then you can just wait for eight hours and then we'll see you then, we'll place our decal. Welcome back, it's been eight hours and these are hardened and they're completely cured. 
what we're gonna do today is place our decal. I'm gonna add a little bit more glitter and we're gonna place our top coat of resin. So I have my decals ready here. I have them already on the transfer sheet. Um, so then all I have to do is press them down and place them. So I will go ahead and do that now. Comes off so nice. Love it. Oh, that's not perfect. There we go. All right. So now that the decals are placed. I'm gonna go through and just add a little bit more glitter because I kinda like to have, it has a more floating effect on the glitter. Once I place that and then I lay the clear coat of resin down. And you can take, don't worry if it gathers in one spot, you can take a little brush and spread it out a little. And the resin will also spread it out quite a bit. Right. I'm going to go ahead and get started on pouring the resin. Now that I have measured and mixed my resin, I did 10 milliliters of each side A and side B, mixed it together for three minutes, and then I'm going to pour it onto these little guys right here. You don't want too much because you don't want it to overflow. So now you just want to spread it out. You just want to make sure you're reaching it to all the corners and all the edges. Now that you're done pouring that second coat, you just want to check around the edges of your bookmark mold just to make sure there's no resin leaking over the side because if it hardens that way, it's just going to be a little bit difficult to clean up. So I usually just take a Q-tip and you also want to check the center to make sure that there's no resin covering that little part where the hole's going to go for the ribbon. And I just kind of go around if I see something and I want to fix it. And honestly, it looks pretty good. So we're just going to wait another eight hours and we'll see what they look like in the morning. Now that it's been a little over eight hours since we placed our second and final coat of resin, today we're going to do the final step, which is remove them from the molds and place the ribbon. And whenever you remove them from the molds, if you notice any materials sticking out or creating a rough surface, you can always take sandpaper and sand it down just a little bit and it'll smooth that out really nicely. So I'm going to remove these. And for the ribbon, it's always easier to use smaller the better, just because it's easier to loop through. You still can work with a thicker ribbon, you just kind of have to twist and scrunch the ends to get them through. So I will go ahead and place these right now. And voila! And that's what you're going to do for all of them. Here are the final results. I'm so happy with them. They're so fun, very glittery. As you can see, really easy to personalize. You can really be creative and do what you want when it comes to colors and glitter and decals and ribbon. So just have fun with it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped and I hope this inspired you to do something fun and creative with your leftover resin instead of letting it go to waste. 
these were a lot of fun to make and if you have any comments or questions please feel free to comment below and if you like this video and you want to see more please feel free to subscribe until next time